speaking of smoking, I scared the pants off her. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> well, Casper, what did you do? I picked posies. What? Again? Didn't you scare anybody? I don't want to scare anybody. Listen to him. He doesn't want to scare anybody. <laughs> are here to haunt and scare to turn folks pale and lift their hair but i just want to love and care i want to make friends everywhere he wants to make friends everywhere he doesn't want to haunt and scare you're neither here nor neither there you're nothing but a pop bear he wants to be so good and kind thinks he has a noble mind he wants to make friends everywhere. He doesn't want to haunt and scare. You're neither here nor neither there. You're nothing but a pop up there. Go, you traitor. Return no more. Golly, now I can make friends. Casper. A ghost! Oh, hello, little honeybee. Destroy. 
us, please. can help me. <laughs> bah, he's always crying because he's Willie the Weeping Willow. He's always complaining. Oh, and you'd complain too. These big greedies won't give me any room for my roots, and I'm always in the shade. Tough. I'll never be a big tree. Couldn't you big fellows make a little room for his roots and let him have a little sunshine? What? We, we were here first. Well, it wouldn't hurt to be a little charitable. Don't tell us what to do, Scram. See, they're all mean. Oh, I'll never grow up. Golly, I wish I could help you, Weeping Willie. You could help me leave this terrible forest and find a nice sunny spot. I could? How? Find the magic potion of motion. What's that? Ha! <laughs> Imagine him answering the riddle. What riddle? The ogre under the mountain has a magic potion of motion that he will pour on anyone who can answer the riddle. What is the riddle? Nobody knows. We've never seen him. Oh, it's hopeless. Please don't cry, Weeping Willie. I'm going to find the magic potion of motion for you. Oh, I truly hope so. So do I. God, tumbleweeds. Oh, tumbleweeds. Could you please tell me if you've ever heard of the Potion of Motion? So you've noticed that we can move. I'll say. Well, we met the old run of the mountain. And you answered his riddle? Well, not exactly. He spilt some of the potion on us to get rid of us because <laughs> we tasted so terrible. Oh. This is where he tasted me. Oh, my. Well, would you fellows mind telling me where I could find the ogre? You see, I have a friend who's a tree, and I'd like to get some of the potion for him. Oh, that's impossible. Hopeless. But why? The ogre loves to eat vegetables, but he's too lazy to raise them. So he offers tasty-looking plants a chance to answer the riddle. If they can, yep, they win the gift of motion. If not, into the chop suey. Would it be cheating to ask what the riddle is? Yes, that's OK. Because we can't remember it. Bye. So long. Hmm, maybe in my present form I don't look very tasty. But with a pull here and a push there. There. I only hope I look delicious. Now to find the ogre and see if I can answer that riddle. OK, tasty tidbits. Riddles, anyone? Ah, oh, it's the ogre. Ask me. Nah, you look like you taste like a tumbleweed. Blech. I'd like to try. Say, what a salad you would make. Now, here's the potion of motion, and here is my shopping basket. It's a difficult riddle, so please be sure you want to try it. Uh, I'm sure. Then listen carefully. It is there when you can't see it, and when you do, you flee it. It walks, it talks, it flies, it cries. It seems like everything in general, but it is an animal, vegetable, or mineral. What is it? Give up? Let me think. It's a widget. No help from the audience. Besides, you're wrong. 
Wait, it, it's coming to me. I know, it's a ghost, like me. Yeah, when you see it, boy, you're free. Look out, the potion. Oh, it spilled all over the grass, but I saved a few drops. Wee! We can move! Hooray! Free the animals! Now I have to hurry before this potion evaporates. <laughs> Look, Weeping Willie, the potion of motion. Oh, hurry with it, Casper. Close your eyes. I feel kind of peculiar. I don't believe it. Where are we going, Casper? I know a place where you can have plenty of space. Big Willow, may Little Willie plant himself on this bank? Why, sure. Welcome, neighbor. Drink deep now, Willie, and grow. Oh, I will, I will. Goodbye for now, Willie. I'll be visiting you again soon. I'll be waiting here, Casper. Bye.
you're not a bloodhound. Maybe your talents lead more to being a retriever. Now fetch this decoy duck and bring it back to me. <coughs> didn't miss the train. Golly, he did miss it. I wonder if I should wait for the next train. Oh! Spooky, you were on that train. <laughs> I sure give you a start then, didn't I, Cass? Huh, didn't I? Uh-huh. Gee, Spooky, I'm glad you could come visit me here in the country. Me too, Cass. I was getting in a rut in the city, scaring the same people all the time. Hold it, Casper. Look what's coming. Me first chance to scare someone in the country. No, no, Spooky. I don't do it that way. Oh, there's some way I don't know about? Now you stay behind these bushes and watch how I do it. Okay, Casper. Hello. My name is Casper. May I be your friend? Help! Help! Let me get out of here! <laughs> great, Casper! Great! That's a new approach if I ever saw one! But, but, I was really trying to be friendly. Shh! Here's my chance to try your new style. Hey! I want to be friendly with you. Yeah, a ghost! <laughs> Get a load of this new technique. But Spooky, you'll fix it so I'll never get a friend. Now, let me show you the subtle approach we use in the city. Say there, Pops. Is there any mail for me? Well, let me see now. Um, uh, what did you say your name was, young fella? Spooky, the ghost. Hey, Spooky, <laughs> the, the ghost. <laughs> oh, yeah! in the country. <laughs> oh, boy, this is great. <laughs> I've got
got to cure Spooky. And I think I know just the way. Say, Spooky, I want to give you a real taste of the country. Tonight, we're going to camp out in the lonesome forest. Great, Casper, great! Boy, oh boy, you country ghosts really know how to live. You know, whoever named this place Lonesome Forest must have spent a night here. Cass, what's those weird noises? Just nightlife, Spooky. Oh, yeah? Well, how about them eyes staring at me? I'll leave him on his own now. This place is beginning to give me the creeps. Casper! Hey, Casper! Where are you? Casper! Casper! Help! Casper! Help! Me doy me. Where's me doy me? There it is. Spooky was such a scaredy cat. Casper, are you in there? Dear, I want you to take this cake over to Grandmother's house. Oh, boy! Grandma's house!
dear. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. <laughs> uh, all the better to see yous with, darling. And what big teeth you have, Grandma. <laughs> yes, uh, new bridge work, dear. And what big feet you have! Maybe you'd rather hear rock and roll, hmm? Or some jazz like, like bebop. Yeah, man, I dig it the most. Oh, you and all the rest of the juvenile delinquents. But, Daddy, the people want jazz, too. Hey, Dads, <laughs> a kingdom of beatniks. Well, I'll teach them what good music is. Listen, you cowards! 
Festival. the most. What's that terrible noise out there? Uh, it's Boppin' Hood and his Sherwood trio. Guards, throw them into the dungeon. Well, where are we going, Daddy-o? To the dungeon. Pops, I uh, just dropped in for a jam session. You get back in that dungeon! Oh, don't bug me, Pops. How can I swing with all that yelling going on? <laughs> yeah! I reward you. Go ahead, ask for anything. Crazy, Pops, but you're not going to like it. My beloved subjects, I bring you terrible news. Terrible. From now on, the official music of Squaresville is bebop. <laughs> Man, this really bugs me. Skipper is strong and brave, he's Captain Herman. That's me! The decks are nice and bright, we scrub them every day. We never fuss or gripe, our work is more like play. You can see the ship has passed, so we polish every glass. 
happy bunch of guys are we. It sure is great to be where you feel so safe and sound. You just look out and see the sea for miles around. Hyman. Now I am the skipper who's running the ship. He ho, blow the mice down. I'm feeling chipper. I'll take uh -huh. me a trip. Ho, 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 and blow the mice down. Sea. 
Our skipper is best by far. Hooray for Herman, hooray for Herman, the bravest man on the sea. That's me. The wrong 
own baby? Your mother's worried about you. Gee, he looks just like me. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Louis Jacques Honoré Napoleon Renoir. I am by profession a matchmaker. I do not make the match with the flame on the stick. Oh no, I make the love match. Mm -hmm. As for myself, <laughs> I am the bachelor. And this old maid here is my sister, who is a very sweet nature. Stupid! Why you not find me the husband, huh? Big shot! Enough! Everybody he gets married! Enough! For strangers, he can find husbands! Enough! But for his own sister, he can find nothing! Enough! 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 Ah! Come in! Come in! Come in! Psst. Customers! Please, no screaming! This ugly thing is your son, madame? And because he is so repulsive, no woman will marry him? For 500 francs, I guarantee to find him a wife unconditionally. Simply sign here the wedding contract. And he may select for a wife any woman whose picture is on the wall. Pick out anyone. I want her. <laughs> Idiot! You cannot marry the princess? Yes, yes, get him the princess. But, madame... We have signed the contract. But, madame... You set any picture on the wall. <laughs> I want to marry with the princess. Nous avons signé ce contrat. Nous demandons the princess. Princess is ridiculous. Stupid. <laughs> I want to marry with the princess. Vous êtes voleur. You promised. Vous n'avez pas signé le contrat. Let me pay the price. Stupid. Monsieur le matchmaker. Merci, 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 merci. Arrive, monsieur le matchmaker. Your Highness, there is someone who loves you very much and wishes to marry you. <gasps> A king, perhaps? Uh, no. A duke? No. A count? No. A nobleman? No. Then what is his title? Hector, the garbage collector! <laughs> and now, if the princess will sign the wedding contract? <laughs> I want to marry with the prince. Enough! The princess can only love the hero, so I will make like the revolution, and you will rescue the princess. Then she will take you in her arms and whisper, I love you, Hector the garbage collector. <laughs> Please, your breath. Rescue! I'll save the 
the princess. She said no. <laughs> The also water holy routine. No woman can resist that. Every woman goes for the caveman type. Give her a love tap with the club. Then, by her hair, you drag her away. this and the princess she will marry anybody ah yes it was i that married the princess and as for hector he is also happily married Stupide! Laissez tomber la rime! Aïe, idiote! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Prends une garde! Ne marchez pas sur le pied! Stupide! never got off the ground. Millions of dollars in taxes. Poof! Up in smoke. I tell you, something ought to be done. Well, Dad, I guess it'll be up to the youth of the nation to solve its problems. Er, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, Specs. Mm, guess you're right. Hmm. This abandoned warehouse will be the shell of our rocket. Lower away, men! Now, the problem of sending a rocket into space will be explained with its cosmographical map of the sky. The rocket will have to pass through the Milky Way, and if there are no bottlenecks, Proceed past the Big Dipper to the Dog Star, which is at the halfway mark. Our final destination is the moon. Oh, Professor. Yes, Charles? Suppose our rocket misses the moon and winds up here. Then our secret timing device will speed up the rocket to land when the moon is here. Well, what happens if it goes to this side of the moon? The timing device will then slow it down to land when the moon is here. Hit that call, tweet a woe! You win, Specs! All set for the solid fuel test, Goop. Pour in the fuel. Where we going? How's the liquid fuel experiment going, Chubbs? All set for the test, Professor. Save the fuel! Men, we will now need a spaceman for our rocket. Will a volunteer please take one step forward? Very well, Goop. Who, me? Now, 
due to the lack of gravity on the moon, we will have to see how our spaceman reacts to weightlessness. Okay, Chubbs. <laughs> I'm a moon man! I'm a moon man! This centrifuge will test your ability to withstand the terrific pressure you will experience in space flight. Let it go! subject has blacked out. We will have to proceed with the pressure suit test. One pressure suit coming up, Professor. Oh boy, it's up to 40 pounds already. What's that rocket? I can't bear to look. Geronimo! I wonder what those kids are up to now. Spy! Saboteur! Ready for the countdown. Five, four, Three, two, one, blast off! Ah. Oh boy! It's Queen out of sight! Gentlemen, our launching was a success! Specs, off to the woodshed! Oh well. Back to the drawing board. My baby Hugh is such a sweet child. Smart as can be, he's gentle and mild. He grew awfully fast. He's something to see. Just two years of age and looks just like me. Yeah, good morning, Ma. Good morning, Huey, darling. Made to Huey. Tis fishing I'm going, and I'm going alone, do you hear? Alone! 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 Huey's going fishing! Huey's going fishing! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! A fish! Should I dig for worms too, huh, Papa? Uh, please, Papa, let me dig for worms. All right. Go ahead and dig. Oh, thanks, Papa dear. Uh, I hope he digs his way to China. Lots of worms under here, Papa. Papa, baby, you we want to fish. Baby, you we want to fish. Please, Papa, let me fish. Let me fish. All right, son. You can fish. But go get your own fishing pole. All right, Papa. Papa! Save you, 
Papa? Fish next to me. Be setting yourself over there. All right, Papa. Oh, I touched the fish. And he looks just like Papa. Yes, yeah, stupid numbskull. Not in the head, Papa. Uh. You want to make me crazy? Come on, get in the boat. There's another spot we'll be trying to fish from. Oh, goody, goody, goody! I promised my papa I'd be a real good boy. Oh boy! A fish! as well be getting home. There's no use trying to fish with the likes of you around. Papa, Papa, looky! I got a big fat flounder!
now, dear, don't overeat. There's the dog show, you know. Hold it there! What's under that cover? Why, you... Uh, nothing, officer, nothing. Wait for the dog show. Oh, Svensson, would you please come here? Yeah, madam. I am coming. Svensson, you've got to take some weight off Fifi. You leave it to me, madam. She will lose a lot more before I get through with her. to qualify for the dog show. Remove the collar, please. Rabies shots? How terribly chic! There! Hand me the friend stand from my bag, please. My! Just like a nurse! Thank you. 